John Harrow will jump it up against Trace Jackson Davis. Great to have you with us for game two of our BTN doubleheader. One of the best games in the country tonight. Jamari Wheeler comes up with a loose ball and an immediate two. And Finnessy with a rebound. Great defense by Justin Smith defending without fouling in the open court. That's not easy to do. And Durham with the three on the other end in transition. Stevens fade away over Jackson Davis. Uses the window, gets the contact, and he'll go to the line. In to shoot for Jones, Stevens, one for three to start this ball game. Stevens going inside, and a foul. Very nice defensive set by Indiana. And Davis gets in front of Watkins, and an easy dish to Justin Smith for a pair. Deron Davis is an excellent passer, and so is Trace Jackson Davis. A portion of their morning practice, their shoot around. This morning, working defensively against Penn State's sets. Durham trying to throw it down. And instead, it's thrown out of bounds. It'll stay with Indiana, 11 to shoot. I got a feeling Lamar Stevens is going to be on the foul line a lot tonight, which is good news for Penn State. He makes 81%. Monte Green on the baseline, rattles that one home. He that's had 16 in that tough loss to Maryland. That's the Devontae Green they'd like to see tonight. Penn State's gone over four minutes without a made bucket. Watkins trying to change it against Blake. He takes it up with two hands. Oh. Aside from the foul trouble, things going the way Indiana wants. There you go. Deron Davis back out there with two fouls. Finnessy lobbing. Trace Jackson Davis with a flush. Mara needs some help. Gets it from Curtis Jones with eight to shoot. Jones against Durham. Oh, beautiful spin. And Jones is feeling it. High off the glass. Seven for Jones and a two-point lead for Penn State. And a steal by Myron Jones, coasting to the other end. And the finger roll trickles over the rim. Timeout, Indiana. 38% on the earth. The line hits two free throws. Good-looking stroke, and Davis has been solid tonight. And there's Jackson Davis attacking again. Same play. Sets the screen and rolls. Simple as playing basketball. The kick into the corner. Jones splashes another three. Double figures now. What a great first half for Trace Jackson Davis. And a turnover by Penn State. Tipped into the hands of Lundy. Here's Hera working against Brunk. Silent foul trouble in the first half. And uses all the rim to get his first two. Tipped away by Stevens. Another turnover. Here's Jones, floats it over the arm of Justin Smith. I think that's going to be very intentional. Good look inside, Finnessy finding Jackson Davis. Indiana making their free throws, and that's got them right in this game. 90% at the line tonight. Lundy will try the three, there's one there that falls. Take that, Seth Davis. And get Jackson Davis some touches in the post. Get him involved in the offense. Looking baseline, Green throws it away. Mike Watkins on the run. Big man running to the rim. No, Wheeler's tip is. Tennessee looking inside. Bronk trying to save it. And it's tipped into play for Penn State. Long pass ahead to Hera. Hera running to the rim. Oh. Two-hand flush. Big fella hates rims. Danger time for Indiana. Stevens going to work. Splits two to get two. Good hands. Trace Jackson Davis got the swat. Seven to shoot. Dread with the three. For Indiana is about as bad as they've looked offensively. Maybe all season. Feed and Parkinson with the one hand hammer. Proved to be pivotal. And a turnover. Stevens and Brockington on the wrong page. Driving oh. inside. Oh. Brockington with the swat out of bounds. Brockington says no, sir. And then it was very odd to see Xavier Simpson, of all people, being suspended for a game. You talk about a culture guy. This season, Brockington. <clears throat> the air ball caught underneath by Green. Brunk to the other end for the two. We dribble it out. And the Nittany Lions now 15 and 5 on the year, 5 and 4 in Big Ten play.
with a 64-49 win.